My bag and my files? Send the cars up, Ma. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll be with you. All right, then. I'll call you back. Yes, I'm already late to the office, so. All right, then. Speak. I said speak. Okay, I do not have much time. Ma. Did cat cut your tongue? Your partners from Sundown Construction Firm are here for the meeting. They've been here for one hour now waiting and it's becoming boring for them. I'm sure they will not die if they make it up to two hours. Sorry, ma'am. Good for you. Oti, pull over by the beggar's side. Let me give them something. Okay, ma'am. your face like that? The people outside. Mm -hmm. What happened to them? You sacrifice a lot for those people. For those strange people. They're strange people. What's making them strange? Oh, you think you're better than them. Right? You believe they are below your level. I'm talking to you. Answer me. Are we any better? I mean, we are all children of the mud, but yet you sacrifice the little we have. 
the very little we have at the detriment of our well-being. Oh no. It's hard to believe you're my sister. You know, you do realize how selfish you sound right now. <laughs> selfish? No, big sister. It is you that is being so unreasonable to a fault. You have been unnecessarily nice to people without no known reward. Okay, I get it. I'm unreasonable. Yes. I'm being unreasonable because I choose to show kindness to humanity. I'm being unreasonable because I want to sensitize these people. See that? What is wrong with you? Look, I'll have you know that helping these people makes me happy. It makes me feel at peace with myself. It gives me a sense of purpose. And if this is the little I can do, then sis, you better get used to it because I am not about to stop. And I don't need your approval or your permission. And as for my reward, it's in heaven. <laughs> oh, wow. Your reward is in heaven. But it might interest you to know that charity doesn't cure poverty, big sister. I hope one of these days you don't go fundraising for them because if you do, I won't be surprised. Good morning, Madam Bianca. How are you, Daya? I'm fine, and you? Very well. Our partners are already seated. As a matter of fact, their patience is wearing thin. Oh, come on, let them wait. I'll be ready to meet with them in a chiefy. Okay. Guys, yeah. Uh, sorry, I came late. That's because the traffic I ran into on my way coming was beyond me. Sorry once again. You're welcome. So, where are we? After the last meeting we had, we met with our board members, and we decided to pay 460 million naira against. 330 million naira we offered the last time. That's 150 million less than our asking price. We are well aware of that. Um, but we've decided to up the offer. Do you still want to do business with us? Well, uh, Prime what is a construction firm that deals on low-cost house and, and we have made a name for ourselves in that area. And by the way, this low cost housing is beginning to affect our investment. The unstable nature of our economy over the past 20 years. Corruption and failure to completely take the standard of living and minimum wage into account has been a stumbling block to us. So, Ma, you have to come down for us. Is a low-cost housing or not? 
Now, how do you expect the urban poor to have a roof over their heads after their long time servants? Lady Bianca, our company is not a charity organization. We are businessmen and women. Profit should be our watchword. Prime World is a construction firm that have built strength, stability, and self-reliance through shelter. We are not even ready to compromise that. It's universally accepted that housing is humanity's third most essential need. I repeat, humanity's third most essential need here on earth after food and clothing which is why here in prime world we are not even ready to deviate from this good cause not in a time soon well lady bianca since it's low cost housing why don't you use cheap materials because you can't call it low cost housing they use expensive materials this is business. Well, allow me to worry about that. Like I said earlier, here in Prime World, we unleash the power of humanity in business. Please, Mom, can you change the architectural firm doing the work for you? May I know why? Oh. Uh, um, inconsistent skills being used across the drawing for starters. Doors opening and closing the wrong way. Facilities located in practically inhabitable places. Making it look all tacky and uncomfortable. Be rest assured that we'll make some changes. Oh, Jesus, why is this thing happening to me? Why? What has come over this man, my God? Ah, we are having a peaceful family. This man just decided to break it up, my God. Ah. <laughs> Madam, what is it now? Stop crying, it's okay. What's the problem? It's my husband, no. Husband? What happened to your husband? It's okay. Stop crying. Talk to oh, me. Ma, because I refused to have another child, my husband drove me away with the children. And my children, they are unkept. They are hungry. I am hopeless. Doesn't he know about family planning? What kind of... It's okay. It's okay, ma. Where are the children? Uh, they are seated in that uncompleted building. <laughs> Mom, it's okay. It's okay. Dry your eyes. Don't cry again. Eh? Don't cry again. You know, when you are when you are crying, your children will be crying. They are looking at you. Okay, ma. It's quite unfortunate that your husband has chosen to behave like this towards you and your children. Just take it easy. Take it yes, easy, man. please. Um, yes. give me your number. I have to go to work now. And I'm already running late. But give me your number. I'll call you after work. He collected everything, including my phone. I don't have a phone on me. <laughs> okay, give me, um, take my number. Let me give you my number. You call me. Okay, ma. Uh, yeah? Okay. So just call me in the evening. Call oh, me. Thank Here's you, ma. Hey. I'll come and see you people after work. Wait, okay, wait, ma. wait, 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 ah. ma. Use it to take care of the children. I'll just, I'll keep this one. Hey. Use it to buy food for you and the children. Thank you, Take ma. care of yourself. Thank okay? you, ma. Call me, oh. Now you just drive like snake. I better drive fast, Joe. I'm gonna wait till you warm up, like. I better allow me to drive. You know how to drive.
are you doing, sir? I'm fine. And she's been sleeping since you administered that injection. A few hours should be up. All right. Excuse me, sir. Okay, thank you, nurse. <coughs> Lady Bianca, when you complained about your Constant news here. Loss of appetite and uh, the constant fatigue and sometimes memory confusion. At first, I alluded that to your constant strain and stress from work. But with the recent crisis, I knew I needed to go the extra mile to find the root cause. Uh, well, After the exam that is carried out, the INR and the CT scan, I'm afraid to say that um, you have a chronic liver disease. What? Yes. But not to worry, it can be managed. Dramatic. No one says you're dying tomorrow. How far has it progressed? Ah, uh, well, it has gone far. But it can be managed. Yes, it can. With some lifestyle changes. And then probably down the line. A liver transplant might be needed. God. <laughs> Chances of surviving it. On that, I would say uh, 40, 60. 40, 60. Yes. But I don't want this to get to you, okay? We will assign a caregiver uh, to you, the best one in the hospital for that matter. You will be fine. Trust me.
Sissy, what's wrong? I've been asking you. You're just wearing a long face. What? Tell me now, what's going on? You're just ignoring me. Please, please, just leave me alone. Good night. Did anyone in the area look for your trouble? What, what happened? Did they do anything? Tell me. The question should be, what have you not done? What have you not done to me? Today is my birthday. Did you even buy me a cake? Or even throw me a party outside? I don't understand. So this is why you are wearing a long face. This is why you are frowning your face. Because I didn't, I didn't throw you a party. I didn't buy you a birthday cake. Really? Did you ask me how I've been coping? Did you ask me if I have... Do you know if I have money to buy you a cake? Oh. Eh? Do you know if I have money to take myself to work? So it's, it's not enough reason for me to, to frown, Abby. You parade yourself as a mother figure to me, yet you don't even do anything motherly for me. If it was these poor people roaming around the streets, you would have given them money, given them free gifts and every other thing. But when it comes to me, your sister, you don't do anything. Last year, I passed jam. What did you do? Did you don't bring her money to take me to school? Hey, point of correction. Young lady, you did not pass jam. Okay. Your score was 186. The cutoff mark is 200. And you were asking me to bribe someone to get you into a university. How? You know I won't support bribe. Plus, you know I don't even have that kind of money. Mm. You know this. Mm. When it comes to Celia, my sister does not have money. It's bad enough that you don't even realize that charity begins at home. Good night, big sister. Liver disease. Yeah. Oh my God. <sighs> Does Jason know about this? He doesn't have to know. If you say so. I'm of the opinion that you need someone who can 
take good care of you. I suggest you engage the services of a private nurse. Most importantly, you need rest. Ha. Ah. Bros, what happened now? Your blood pressure is very high. Ah. Auntie, my game nearly caught. My game nearly caught. My heart was almost pumping out of my body. I, I think my blood pressure is very high. It's, it's very high. Really? Yes. I put all my money for that game. But as God may have it now, at least I get 350 key. <laughs> but Auntie, check him. What if I can win? Ah. Well, thank you. Thank you. But how is it I think I'm much better now. Good. But I, I think I'm still going to need some drugs. Because certainly it might still happen again. Because from next week back, I'll be sticking a game of 80k to win 10 million. Check out Nancy. 80k to win 10 million? Yes. <sighs> Bros, this is very risky. You know your health condition. I don't want you to have a stroke or any other medical emergency. You need to stay away from high stake games and just minimize the risk involved due to your health condition. So I'm going to... Auntie, you know what you say. Just pray for me, make I win. Hmm? Okay. You need a lot of supplements. But well, take this to and see the doctor. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Hi, sir. Doctor, sir, I want to see you. Yes, so like I earlier said, believe it or not, alcohol and cigarette are your biggest enemies right now. To avoid situations that will pray you into constant hospitalization. I advise you cut off from them completely. All right. I'll quit. God's willing. Uh, no, it is not a matter of God's willing. It's a fact that you don't need those things in your life anymore. Believe me, they are harmful. All right. Good day, ma'am. Oh, yes. Doctor, I was talking to you me. Yes, please, I did. Meet Lady Bianca, the CEO of Prime World, an ardent philanthropist. Prime World? Wow, it's such a pleasure to meet you, Ma. I've heard a lot about your company and how you provide low-cost housing for the underprivileged. It's such a pleasure to meet you, Ma. Please, meet Ansa Udogu, one of the best nurses we have in this hospital. Yes, sir. <laughs> The best. I thought you would have given me the very best. Not this. Young lady, was your school on the nursing board examination? I came to the first man. To win the first? Not even top ten. Well, I have gone through your files. Two mornings. Records of insubordination to your superior. But I turn over 10 rating from patients and their families' feedback. It's all right. I'll manage her. 
Thank you. Uh, Asa. Lemiaka here has a chronic liver disease. Yes, and I'm going to be needing you to sign the non disclosure agreement before she hires you. Non disclosure agreement? Why? Uh, Excuse me. What's that your name again? Asa Odogu. Are you sure your brain cells are functioning very well? Do you think? I would want the whole world to know about my illness. Hmm? No. Sorry. Sorry for yourself. Oh, please, uh, I am sorry. It's a slip of tongue from her. But believe me, Answer here is the best nurse we have in this hospital. Yeah. All right, best nurse. Where do you leave? Fifth Avenue, ma. Fifth Avenue? Fifth Avenue? That place? My personal nurse coming from Fifth Avenue. All right, I'll manage. Uh, I understand what you're going through, but you need to take it easy on yourself. And so, I'll do a good work on you. Trust me on that. Hey, Sissy, guess what? Oh, my God has answered my prayers. <laughs> What's wrong with you? We're going to be rich. Babe, you won't believe what happened to their book. They assigned me to this very rich, influential lady. And guess how much they're going to be paying me? Four times more than what I'm currently earning. Hey, this is God. You too, good. Hey, we're going to be rich. We're going to. Thank God, though. At least I can now go back to school and enjoy my life. Yes, you can go back to school. editing bread and mineral. <laughs> you know you have to read, right? You have to read and pass your jam. I don't hear. Yeah. Speaking of which. Babe told me you didn't show up at her shop today. We agreed you go and learn sewing. What happened now? I beg, I beg, I beg. Leave that to some girl. Someone that I went to her shop and everywhere was hot and stuffy. She could not even offer me ordinary lunch. And she wants me to be calling her ma. Ha. I beg, I'm not before that kind of stress. Okay. Queen Shiba. Princess of Africa. I don't stay where there is no I don't stay where there is no AC. Look at you, look at your house. Oh, so it's me that is good to suffer. It's my sweat you want to eat, but you won't go out and walk. What, what is wrong with you? Look, I'm just two years older than you. Don't make me out to be your mother or, or one old woman. I'm not the sacrificial lamp of this family. I'm not going to kill myself for you. What is even wrong with you? Please don't start with me this afternoon. Ah, now you made this food now to tire me. Eh? Please, I beg, my head is spinning. Come here, I'm not done talking to you. My friend, sit down, Joe. Am I your mate? I'm not your mate, oh. I am not your mate. I will slap you if you do anyhow. See this, see this, see this, see this girl. Hey, God. What have you done to, to better this family? What have you done to improve your life? What con contribution have you made in this family, in this house? This house that you are sleeping and eating and you are drinking coke? All you know how to do is just go out there and follow all these useless chingon boys. No, not even responsible people that will show you the right way to go. What you should be doing is, okay, even if you want to date a man, date somebody that is responsible, that will love you and marry you. No. It's useless boys. This one today. and make her tomorrow. What is wrong with you? Look, if you want to go to school, you better be ready to work. Decide. Make up your mind. What do I want to do for myself? What do I want to do? What handwork do I want to learn? Tell me. Because I'm just going to support you through school. 
Are you hearing me? Or you thought I would pay your school fees this time? It's okay now. We are sorry. Sorry now. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Do you have an appointment? Yes, I do. My my name is Ansa Odogo. I'm her nurse. I need to give her something. It's, I need to give her something. Do you have an appointment? She has given. She's expecting me. I need to give her something this instant. Oh well, Lady Bianca has a meeting with some elite business mogul and muglets, and then I don't think you're one of them, are you? Can I see her now? She's gone for lunch for five minutes ago. No, I can't believe you. But I told you I need to see her now. What's all this? I'm going inside. I'm don't try me. it. Or I call the security to throw you out. Wait a minute. Who do you say you are again? I'm her nurse. And so what? Did she say she was dying? Did you did you hear me say anything like that? Did I say she was dying? In this establishment, listing up, patience is always the best policy. Look, this woman is unreasonable. She's impossible. My goodness, who does she think she is? Queen Shiva or a goddess or something? If she doesn't want me to work for her, she will let me know because I have very important things to do in my life. I should just sit around and be waiting for her. For what now? See, eh, you know me. I don't take nonsense. I don't like rubbish. Ah, uh, If not for this money that she's paying, eh, I swear to God, I would, I would have cured her craze. Now, now. Nonsense. I've not even started working for her. She's making life difficult for me. Look, I can't... Oh, Wahala, I'll talk to you later. I, I need to sort some things out. I'll talk to you later. Even that, see, even that her receptionist was just looking at me funny. Oh, Wahala, no problem. Treating me as if, as if I'm the scum, scum of the earth. Sit. Let me let her know that you are here. Thank you. Patient refused to take her medication. What is even wrong with this woman? Why did she hire me?
And who is the master? Me? It's not you, Ma. And the devil's direct apprentice. That message wasn't for you. It's for one very stubborn Christians. Not, not you, Ma. In your own definition, Tell me what a monster looks like. Monster. A monster has evil eyes, a foul mouth, and is thirsty for blood. A monster. A monster eats people alive and leaves a mangled body behind. A monster is terrifying, vicious, angry, and ruthless. The monster hates repetition and stupidity. I'm fired, right? No. Prepare yourself. Answer. Tomorrow you will see what a real monster looks like. Meet answer, my personal assistant. Welcome, Welcome. sir. Lady B, there is an issue at hand. What could that be? Recall that there was an invitation for tenders for our new architectural designs. Surprisingly, entries are not forthcoming. I'm in contact with Bavia Architecture Firm, and they are very good. Let me know the basics of your recommendation. Yeah, they've worked with notable construction companies, uh, such as Green Sheen Construction Limited. I know them. I remember them. They have bad records of late delivery. And I, Bianca, am not willing to associate myself with people like that. Lady Bianca, I suggest we go for a certain Jess Solomide. Hmm? I was told he's a reputable architect based in Lagos. Leave us two of you. Okay, excuse me. Seriously, suggesting jets of all architects in Nigeria. Yes, I was told he's good at what he does. Well, he will not even come. He shouldn't be hasty in drawing conclusions. He might want to add this to his already impressive resume. It's so difficult convincing her to take her medication. Why did she hire me? You know, some patients are not so easy to handle. And thanks goodness you're able to handle her. Hmm? She's going through a lot. I mean, this is a lot of pain to deal with. I won't even wish this on my mother in spite of everything. I mean, come on, Ansa. This is not the time to go down memory lane. You have a frail patient to take care of. I think you should concentrate on that. Sorry, sir. Excuse me.
Ma. You can't go home now. The doctor has to discharge you himself. You need to relax, please, ma. It's my phone. Oh, my Your phone? Yeah, it's my phone. It's here, ma. Ma, you, sh you shouldn't be using the phone Give now. It. Ma, you should not be making phone calls. You need to rest. Hello, Daya. Ma, I'm afraid I have to take that phone from you. Yes, then you have to. How to yes. shut up? I'm on call. Go on, Daya. What's the new update? No, 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 no. You can't be doing this. You can't be drinking and smoking in spite of the doctor's warnings. It's dangerous for your health. So, what should I do? Hmm? Who's going to keep me company? I mean, who's going to be my ally? You see, this drink and cigarette has been my circle for years. You cannot take it away from me, as it has become part of my life. And as a nurse, you cannot take my life away from me, can you? <clears throat> I know. I understand your pain, Ma. And this might feel like a day of reckoning for you, but <coughs> it might come as a surprise, but the things we love the most are the same things that hurt us the most and can possibly kill us. The thoughts. I will kill faster than this. Hmm? Ma, please think about your family. Think about your staff. The people that love you. The people who have benefited from your kindness and philanthropy. They need you. Your family needs you. You can't do this to yourself. Please allow me help you. Let me take this away, Ma. Please. You need to help me help you here. Please. Please, Ma. Please.
All right, that's fine. Can I sleep now? Yes. Your bed is ready, man. You can sleep. <sighs> and what are you still doing here? Out! Go to the guest room. <sighs> Ma, please. I was given strict instructions not to leave your bedside. You are ruining my view. I am not used to sleeping with anyone, so get out! It's okay, ma. I'll make sure I don't make any noise. You won't even notice that I'm here. Please just allow me to do my job, ma. Please, I need to take care of you. I'll, I'll stay here, ma. I will replace your bag with my Chanel bag. Ma, let me get you water. How you feel right now? Jima, you don't have the slightest idea about how I feel. I am stuck in between a hard rock and a hard place. Why? Your father? I just don't want him spitting venoms. You can't allow the errors of the path getting between you and your mother. I mean, she has not been there for you, but she is still your mother. Working for Prime World is a huge feat. I need it for growth. And if you don't go for that job, you cease to be my friend. the architects because I'm about to settle with Bellevue. Yes, uh, Ansa has spoken to someone. So young lady, who did you call? Uh, his name is Jace Olumidi. Answer. 
Am I correct? Yes. Is there any issue? None at all. You're very safe. How are you? Fine. I want you to call this particular number. It will help your madam leave. Who's he? You will get to know him when you call. Just do the needful. Have a nice day. I was actually contacted by one of your assistants concerning the low-cost housing project. And I feel honored to be considered by the prestigious Prime World Construction Company. You look good. There is something I would like to ask you. Why me? Because you are... You are qualified for this job. I see. You know, I've actually been doing this for quite some time. And for once, you never sought after me. It's just something I should know. Are you telling me the truth? This is a great opportunity for you. I don't think you should let it pass you by. Your mother is sick. Okay, she has a, a chronic liver disease and she needs you. If I discover that you disclosed anything to Jets, I will have your license. 
revolt. That's one. I will claw at your throat. And I will kill you. I will rip out all your intestines, veins and nutrients, everything. And I will suck you. I will suck your blood real hard. And I will leave your body in tatters. Madam, I swear to God, I didn't tell him anything. I didn't tell him. He told me not to tell him. I didn't tell him. Good for you. Make sure he stays in my house throughout the course of this project. Ma, what if he doesn't want to stay in your house? Then intensify your efforts. Make sure. I repeat, make sure you do not return home without him. Ma, he has already gone. You have to listen to me. Please, I, please, I have just two favors to ask of you. Sir, please listen to me now. Just wait. Look, please. I signed a non disclosure with your mother, and she can't know that I told you anything that has to do with her sickness. Please. Can I leave now? Um. Please, 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 um, you need to promise me, you've not assured me that you won't tell her. Please, your mother will rip out my intestines. How many do I have? She, she'll revoke my license. My sister is all that, I'm all that she has. Like, I need to take care of her. And, and there's so many people depending on me. Are you okay? <laughs> can you please get out of my way so that this ride at books can take me to a hotel? Sir, you, you don't need a hotel. Your mother's house is ten times better than any hotel. That's actually my second favor. Please, I need to make sure you sleep in the house tonight. Are you mad? Ah. Okay. Please, uh, move, okay. Don't move this car. Please wait. Don't move this car. Don't move this car. Wait now. Okay. Wait, 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 wait now. Why are they all like that? Wait. Sir, please wait. Uh, please wait. I'm begging. If you don't come home with me, your mother is going to sack me without pay. Please, sir. I need money. I need money for my family, for my sister. Please. I don't mind giving my virginity. I'm not using it for anything. You're a virgin? Please have a seat, sir. Make yourself comfortable. This is your house.
Why are you not always at home? Daddy takes me to school, helps me with my assignments, plays paper and pencil games with me. Why don't you come and be with Daddy so we can all play together? See, sweetheart. Things are not setting well with your father and I. Hey, would you like to go tell your father that you would want to be staying with mommy? No, I don't want to stay with you. Why? Because I want, if I stay with you, you're always going to leave me alone in the house. Ma? Ma? What is going on here? I heard voices. Mm. Nothing. I just, um, I wanted to make sure you're okay. Do you need anything, sir? Unchanged. Oh. I remembered when I gave back to him. He was crying so much. <laughs> and I carried him in my arms. Started touching his pink cheek face. All of a sudden, he stopped crying and was staring at me. <laughs> it's amazing the way your face just lit up while you were talking about your son so why didn't you want to see him why didn't you want him around pride I guess oh no <sighs> not pride <sighs> I don't even know what to say No time has passed. Things has happened. Grudge is kept and uh, I think we've gone full circle. Ma, you're still his mother. He can't change that. We all don't have the option of changing our parents or selecting or choosing who they are. If that was possible, a lot of us would have done that. I know. He has every right to be angry. When Jess was a teenager, he was just going in and out of the courts because we were we were then battling for his custody. And he finally chose his father. He chose his father? Yeah. He chose him. His father wanted me to be a seat at home wife. I broke the bias and built prime word. 
Well then, Primewood was, you know, struggling. So I decided to put more time, you know, in building Primewood more. Well, I guess in dedicating that time to Primewood, I lost the track. I never cared about my son again. I guess, I guess I needed this element to make restitutions. Oh, don't say things like that. Well, we all make mistakes and we all have things in our past that I'm sure we're not proud of, but we shouldn't let our past define us. You're not your mistake. You're not the regrets that you feel. What you have now is an opportunity to shape your day and your future. Chase is my future. Take your medicine so you can go to bed. You need to rest. It's already past 12. Your mom must be very proud of you. Where's Jess? She's upstairs in. Go call in so we can have our breakfast. Okay. I don't worry, I'll eat in my room. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, son. I hope you slept well. I guess. He needs some time to heal. He'll come around. I must say I admire his uncommon brilliance. And as an architect, he knows his onions. Believe me, I couldn't be more proud. <laughs> there are words looking at him. Every word that came out of his mouth tugged at my heartstrings. <laughs> Dio. Madam. Do you think he'll be able to take care of this company when I'm gone? Lady Bianca, 
There you go again. Why would you say such a thing? You're not dying anytime soon, okay? You're going nowhere. He doesn't want me any closer. Well, I think all you need to do is to get closer to him and show genuine contrition and remorse. Prove to him that you're willing to make amends for all the pain you caused him. I'm willing. Yes, I'm willing to make amends. That was a brilliant presentation. You did really well, sir. Oh, really? I thought I fumbled. You know, the whirlwind of emotions in the house did not really allow me to prepare. But you did amazing. You needed to see the way your mother was beaming with so much pride in front of the board. She was so proud of you. She, you did well, sir. You did well. She's not proud of me. She's just proud of herself. Sir, your words are so harsh. She's your mother. And I care so less about that. I know I'm spitting the truth. You walk with her, so I guess you know her well. I know her. And she's a nice woman. Yes, she might have this very tough exterior and she might come across as shrewd and hostile, but underneath all of that, she's a very wonderful woman. Her maternal instincts are unfathomable. Oh, really? Yes, sir. How come she sacrificed the peace and the harmony that existed in her family on the altar of her selfish ambition? Sir, you know what one person might call peace and harmony? It's war and dissatisfaction to another person. A mother's love should be given unconditionally to establish trust and emotional intimacy in the life of the child. Do you know how terrible my growing up was? Do you know what it felt like being referred to as that guy from a broken home? Aren't we all broken? anyone knows pain and hurt and suffering, it's us. We know what it's like to stand in the middle of a crowd and feel so alone. We know what it's like to go back home and still feel alone. And one way or the other, we're able to find strength. And from that strength, we're able to offer comfort to other people who are just like us and probably never had what, what we longed for. We're able to give them what we never had. You've come this far, sir. I think it's time for you to move on to the future and just let go of the past, please. I really wish I could. But the secret of the future lies in the past. I am not yet done being mad at her. Sir, please wait! Wait! Sir? Please, sir, please. I'm sorry, sir. Please, wait, 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 sir. Please. Look, I know I may have stirred up some emotions, but I'm sorry. I just, I'm tired. I don't have strength again. Please, just come back. Please, I'm sorry. All right, no problems. I'm fine. B but you actually did. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. <sighs> Answer. Answer. This is your mom. This is your mom. You don't know how to keep quiet. Keep quiet. You don't know. <sighs> I'm sorry. All right, no problems. I've heard you. So can we go back? Thank you, sir. Please, thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. Where are you?
you going to dress like this? Um, one of my secondary school mates is celebrating her birthday today. So I'm expected to be there. <laughs> so if I didn't walk into this house at this at this point in time, you would have told me you were going for a party. Yeah. How would I have told you that I'm going out? Do I have a phone? No. Did you buy phone for me? No. So how would I have told you that I'm going out? There's no way I would have told you now. Hey, me, I should buy you phone. Mm -hmm. Come and collect it now. Nonsense. If you are going to learn from Chiso when I told you to go and learn sewing by now, we won't even be having this conversation. I beg, I beg, I beg. I don't have strength for that kind of work. Besides, that's not what I want to become. I want to be an Instagram influencer or better still an actress. So that people will be celebrating me and I will have my fans, you know. That's the kind of life I'm built for. Cecilia. Ma. Cecilia. Ma. Cecilia, how many times did I call you? Three times. No problem. Go for your party. But make sure you come back to this house early and don't come back drunk. If not, I'll use eraser and erase you. I will try. <laughs> Bye! You seem to be getting along with him. Hmm? So tell me, hmm? what does he think about me? I mean, what is he saying about me? Well, he hasn't said anything to me. He hasn't said anything bad yet. You know, the last thing you will do is to lie to me, answer. So, say something. Maggie, he hasn't told me anything. I have seen both of you talking countless of times. So, what have you been talking? About yourselves? Ma? We're not talking about ourselves, so. No, oh, he... He's just angry. He hates the fact that he's from a broken home. He hates the fact that he never had any maternal love and attention while growing up. I know. I'm not proud. I'm not proud of what I've done. I'm not proud of prioritizing my job over my blood. Believe me, I regret every of my actions. All I want now is that closeness, that mother and son closeness. All I want is for my son to talk to me. Don't worry, Ma. Like I told you earlier, these things take time. He'll come around. He'll, he'll come around. Do you like him? I don't like him. Oh. I, I don't like him. It's just, 
I'm just um, friendly with towards him because um, he's your son, and also just because of the the situation at hand. Good. Clear. Are you okay, man? <coughs> Excuse me. How did it go? It was a successful seat. What happened? Ma, what happened? You must be very angry with me. You know, I remember when Jess was 15 years. He returned home. Hmm. Yes. And I was so happy that he returned. I mean, as pure and young as he was then, he still wanted to make it right. He wanted to be my son. I mean, he, he wanted me to cook for him. And the only thing I couldn't do. I had lost track of how to be a mother. I got swamped with my word. And I couldn't take care of my son again. He got angry and left. And ever since then, I never set my eyes on my son until now. Maybe, just maybe I need this liver disease. Mm. I need it. Mm -mm. Maybe I need a deadline. Just to make things right. 
Else, things would have been the same way they were. Now you, you don't need it to go for pitch. You don't need this disease. All you need is good rest. You need to rest well. Eat well. Sleep well. Do everything at the right time and just maintain beauty as you always do. And take your medicine when I give you. You'll be all right. I think it's that easy. Take. It's 500,000. Ah! Amma! For what? A salary. This, this is a lot of money. Ah, thank you, Ma. God bless you. I've never held this, this sum of money. This is such huge amount of money. I've never held it in my entire life. Hey! Give me. Thank you, Ma. God bless you. You deserve it. Believe me. You even deserve more. Ah! Enough. You have solved all my problems in life, ma. God bless you. God will heal you. God will bless you. God will reward you. Thank you. Thank you, ma. God bless you, ma. I need you to go home and rest. You too, you need rest. Ma, no, I, I don't need to rest, though. I have to take care of you now. Who's going to administer your injection? I, I'm not going anywhere, ma. I'll take care of myself, don't worry. Okay. okay. Ma, you're crying. How are you? Welcome. Mm. I'm fine. So, how much did you say you needed for your jam form again? 5k. Don't worry, I'll give you tomorrow. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, you add money for the wrong so Miracle Center. I don't have brain to read though. I don't have that strength. Night reading. Bonnie did you and... sell your brain? What do you mean by you don't have brain to read? You have brain, okay? <sighs> and I will find you the best teacher to prepare you for your exam you can't do this now please just wait wait, wait. Have some to show. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No, this is my money. money. You give me, you give money to change my wardrobe. I want which, to make my hair. Which wardrobe? I'm talking about jam and passing exam. I'm talking about wardrobe. Hey, I'm, see money now. The money is big. Only five k. You give me for this big money. Ah, this size is not fair. Oh. Hey! 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 <laughs> mint. It's smelling mint. Jennifer! 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 Ma! Oh, I'm trying to cook for my son. Hmm? Cook? <laughs> Ma, with all due respect, though, you both know you can't cook to save your life. So, I know. I'm just. Ready to learn, you know. I just want to make up for my past years. Do you know this, eh? Uh, a mother's best legacy is her recipe. 
and are so the family most precious inheritance. Haven't you heard that? Yes, ma'am. If you don't mind, I can join you in the kitchen, you know, just to help and assist with no, preparations. No, 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 no. I want to do it all by myself. Yes, because I'm used to a lot of help around here. But I want to do it all by myself this time. The only thing is this, I sent Jennifer to my room to go get me the cookery book. Oh, I don't know what please. is keeping her there. Okay. Jennifer! Ma, ma, please calm down. You shouldn't be shouting. It's not good for your health. I'll get the cooking book for you. Alright, calm down. <laughs> Just there. A bit salty. Your mother prepared it for you. Hmm? Yeah, your mother cooked. She made it for you, sir. She cooked? Yes, yeah, she cooked. Why are you so surprised? <laughs> because growing up, I never really had any homemade food. Especially the one prepared by her. She's always taking me out to all this fancy restaurant to buy chicken nuggets and all that. I yearned for her food, but it never came. She did this for you. You can't argue with the fact that she's making some effort. Life is lived through the little steps we take towards change and she's making those changes. You have to give her some credit. And I really wish not cooking was the only problem I had with her. She never showed up for me for anything. Not my birthdays, my graduations. Even on Mother's Day occasions, she doesn't show up. I was that son who grew up with an absentee mother. You know, it really got so bad that even some questions that I was supposed to ask her, I ended up asking my friend's mothers. Do you have any idea how that felt? I felt so rejected. I felt so abandoned. It really shattered my soul. Sir, your mother doesn't have much time to live. Don't you think it's time to make peace with this situation? is buried deep within Wish I could turn back the hand of the time There are some things I do differently And now I'm hiding behind the facade But Lord knows I am laid back and green. Both of us are just living in the same roof like strangers. 
So, I know he'll come around. What do you think about him? What I think about him? Well, I think he's of a sound mind. Smart. Confident. Result oriented. Why do you ask? Well, I ask because I'm going to leave my legacy for him. I should have a second option. I see him in that light though. He's got most of my traits. I just hope he doesn't end up in the hands of a woman who has his father's mindset. Why did you say so? If his father and I had the same motivation. Believe me, our marriage wouldn't have gone south. I want him to marry his kind. Oh, but I still, my kind. Woman who is intelligent, smart, focused, business oriented, self aware. You know, that way, my children's children and their generation after will not have any alliance with poverty. I agree with you. True talk. to get me killed you promised what if it was your mother who walked in to find you googling chronic liver disease i would have lost my job i am confused as i'm really confused you know you know behind this hard exterior lies a grieving man. In as much as I am still mad at her, I don't want her to die. Now she's dying, and she's going to leave me again. Why don't you tell her this? It will sound like music to her ears. She would love to hear you say this to her. It will make her so happy. It will give her the strength to fight, to live, to stay strong for you. Why don't you tell her this? Nothing kills faster than loneliness. Just assure her of your love. Trust me. You think it's that easy? Do you think forgiveness is like jam on bread? So the, the memories make it worse. I understand. I imagine this must not be easy for you, but you need to let go of this bitterness. Purge yourself of unforgiveness and give room for love. Let love lead.
stop crying. Just talk to your mom. Please don't cry. <sighs> Wait, no, hold on. No, Ma, please, no, just, no, just wait. No, no. Just go, I'll, I'll handle it. Are you, are, you, are you sure? Leave us. Just go, 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 go. She'll be fine. I'll take care of her. Ma, please calm down. I just need to, just calm down so I can lift your head up and then. My legs, my legs, my legs, my legs, my legs, my legs and my arms are on fire. Oh, oh, just what calm down. Please help me get her medication. It's upstairs. Which one? The river care kit or the other one? Upstairs. I'm sorry. You liar! I'm sorry. You liar! I'm sorry. You told him! I'm sorry, ma. I'm so sorry, ma. Please. Calm down, please. I need you to relax, ma. Please. Get your hands off me. Just relax. Oh, oh, no, no, please, no. please. I don't want anything to happen oh, no. to you, ma. Get out! Ma, please. Please, ma, please, ma, please, calm down, please. Please, just relax. I don't want anything to happen to you. I'll lose my job. Please, ma. God will punish you, and sir. I'm sorry. Ma. Get out. I'm sorry, ma. Get out. I'm sorry, ma. Your mouth is leaking. You couldn't hold your mouth. I'm sorry, ma. Please, calm down. Please, 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 Oh, why don't you go? Why don't you go? Go to that radio station. Go to him. I'm sorry. sorry. Oh. Mom, please, please. Go to the TV station. Go and announce it. God knows I will gouge out your eyes. I will kill you. I will kill you. Sorry, I'll get that thing out of my face. Oh. I'm sorry, Mom. God. Please help me hold Oh, 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 no. Ah! Oh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 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 Oh. sorry, sorry. Oh, I can't breathe. Sorry, I can't breathe. Sorry, I can't breathe. Sorry, ah. I said, you are just an idiot. Yes, Come on, punish you, answer. Oh, no. <laughs> So why? Oh. Please, Jason. Please, Jess. Please. Jess, please. Please don't go. I beg you. Don't leave me. Please, please, please. I beg you. Do not. Don't. Please. Not now. Please, why? I beg you, please. Oh, Jess. Jess, please. Please just stay. Stay, Jess. 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 Oh, no. <laughs> you have killed me. I hate you. I will rip off your intestines and feed them to the dogs. I promise. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, Chase! Oh, God, please don't leave me again. Please. Please don't leave me again. Please. Oh. Don't leave me again. She's dying. Please. Oh, God. You don't have to leave me again this time. Please. Please, Mom. Please. Oh. Chase. Chase. Answer. Don't, Ma. Is it ringing? It's ringing, oh, give it. That's good for you. Mom, please sit down. Oh, okay, get lost. Please, Mom, you need to relax. Please sit down. It's ringing, but it's not picking. You pick, Ma. I'm sure he will come back. His reaction is perfectly normal. It's, it's his first time seeing you in so much pain. I'm sure he, he, he's confused. Offense! Offense to your licking mouth! I'm sorry, ma. He'll come back. Oh, just shut up! He held me. My son. For the first time, he held me. That's all I've always prayed for. That's all. I felt that connection. I felt like a mother again after so many years. So many years. Ma, he'll come back. You liar! Now you listen. Never again will I believe any word that comes from this your licking mouth. Never. Idiot. Hey, Asa. I called the hospital to send in my replacement. I just wanted to apologize, ma. and vow to respect the privacy of your patient. Yes, it is, ma. I know I saw the Hippocratic Oath to protect the privacy of my patient. 
But if I was to choose between saving your life and your privacy, I'd rather save your life. Oh, please. Stop patronizing me. You are nothing but a them nurse. I'm your nurse. And my job is to save your life. I've given this my all. I've given this career, my blood, my sweat. I've given this everything that I have. I understand what you're going through, ma. No, you don't. You know nothing. You know absolutely nothing about what I'm going through. You don't know what this ailment is doing to me. It's forcing me to become a mother again. I have been a boss for so many years. To the extent I've forgotten how to be a mother. You're still Jason's mother. If only Jason would see that way. He doesn't have a choice. We don't get to choose our parents. We don't get to choose our mother. You were born first. We loved first. And yet you left first. You were the first to leave. Wait a minute. Did your mother leave you? Yes. <gasps> well, maybe there was a reason. What was the reason? 13 years, what was the reason? Is she no longer a mother? If a mother is not good, is she no longer a mother? <laughs> if she fails, is she less a mother? See, we make mistakes. We are still mothers. I'm still his mother. So easy for you to sit there and say that. We never asked to be brought into the world. We didn't ask you to go out and make money for us. No. Just say the truth. You did it for yourself. For your own selfish reasons. Stop making silly excuses. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm sorry. I choose to remain fired. Goodbye, ma'am.
I gave to you. This is what you've chosen to do with your life. You are pregnant. What's going to happen to your education? You said it was jam money you needed. I gave you money for your jam exam. What is your problem? Is this how you want to become the, the superstar actress? Is this the kind of influencer you want to be? <laughs> Papa man, no day. Papa no day, we don't have anybody. All we have is each other. This is this is what you do to me after everything I've been through. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't have a job. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I missed you. See, I... I want you to come back. Hmm? I have forgiven you. So why are you frowning? <laughs> I see what you're doing. That makes the two of us, you know. Thank you, ma. <laughs> you see, service to other people is a rent you pay for your room here on earth. And we'll make a living by what we get. But we'll make life by what we give. So well then, answer. Thank you. I would love to come work with you. <laughs> Thank you, ma. <laughs> For Luke, she has really grown into a real woman. Very beautiful. Congratulations, yeah. sweetheart, and your appearance on Fab Society magazine. Thank you, ma'am. Yes. You're really doing well with Beehive's magazine. Thank you. We keep pushing. Uh, I'm sorry, I have to take this. Excuse okay. me. You must be proud of her. Of course I am. She is very beautiful. Yes, the chief of the old block. <laughs> She's going to be a perfect match to Chase. What do you think? Oh, it's a welcome development. Believe me, their union is going to be a force to reckon with. 
I agree. Don't you think so? Completely. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> now you get out. Go get me corn. Anything. Okay, ma. I feel like eating can. <laughs> Cooked one. Oh. Not roasted. Cooked. Okay, ma. That's a delight. Mm. Lady Bianca, I know uh, this might not um, sound good to the ears. Your liver function has deteriorated to the point where it can no longer be managed. And as it is, we need a transplant as soon as possible. We can't delay about this. We can't at all. I'm sorry. Hate you, Mom. I hate you for every single thing you did to me. I hate you for those times you went missing in school. That I had to make up excuses for you. I hate you for every single Every single graduation you missed. I hate you for pushing that away. And I hate you for ruining this family. For wanting more for yourself that you forgot about me. Every single thing you did to me. I hate the fact that you are dying and I am not yet done being mad at you. Mom, I hate you for everything, but I love you. I love you because you're my mother. Please, don't leave me. Not again, please. So much I wish I could about everything I could have been, but it's very
bridges I broke And maybe somehow I can make it up to you Wish I could turn back the hand of the time So, Mom, what's next? I'll be going for the liver transplant. I need some. Okay, then I'll go with you. No, no, no. I want you to stay back and take uh, care of the construction thing. And also, get to know for the cake. Better. Your daughter. You two are a picturesque pair. <laughs> Believe me, you'll make a power couple. Mom, please don't start. I don't even like her. Get to know her first. There is no way you will like someone you don't even know. Mom. Yes. I'll go with you. Since Asa is going with you too. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay, she's blushing. <laughs> Sorry about that, okay? It's okay. I'm just happy to hear you be traveling with us for the transplant. Yeah, it's all good. So, how are you? I'm fine. I'm glad you finally reconciled with your mom. And you played a very huge part in it. No, <laughs> it really wasn't me. It's just, you know, it's hey. God. <laughs> Wait, what are you doing? What's wrong with you? This is your mom's room now. Why don't you allow me to bother about that? <laughs> Ma, it's not like that. See? I swear to God, I've never done this with him before. Like, it has never happened before, and it will never happen again. Please, Ma, I beg you in the name of God. Please, I'm sorry. Just chill and enjoy the kiss. Hmm? to do me a favor. Just speak the word and it's done. I like Ansa. <laughs> wow. I guess I know a lot about flea green eyes, especially one with deep-seated affection. Hmm? Isn't that obvious, son? Answer is one in a million, girl. Do you know what, son?
Mm. You have my blessing. as I made mine. Alright. She is sorry. Take your time and let it all out. But I want you to, to know that the lives of the ones we love it never ends. The ones we love live on in our hearts and the lives of people that they've touched. Your mom is she's resting in power. Her legacy lives on. It's all a shepherd. 
So much I wish I could say About everything that could have been But it's buried deep within Wish I could turn back the hand of the time There are some things I do differently And now I'm hiding behind the facade But Lord knows I am dying Just I broke